Hello my dear pharmacy students welcome to the fundamental pharmacy if you are new on our channel please subscribe it and press the bell icon my dear students if you are preparing for gpat nipper drug inspector government pharmacy exam then this video is going to be very useful for you and in this session we are going to see pinpoints from pharmacognosy so let's start first of all we will see regarding the history of general pharmacognosy i'm not going to tell you in the detail but i will only highlight the important points for GPAD NIPER. So first, your pharmacognosy was known as a Materia Medica. Previously, your pharmacognosy was known as a Materia Medica and the name was given when a Greek physician Dioscoride written one book known as a D Materia Medica. Now in this D Materia Medica, the Dioscoride has listed crude drugs and their use. That crude drugs are from animal source plant source or mineral source. This dioscoride has listed crude drugs of these sources and their uses in the Materia Medica. And now later on this Materia Medica is known as a pharmacognosy. There was one another student of PhD known as a C.A. Siedler, a student of medical hall Germany. He wrote his doctoral thesis, PhD thesis entitled Us Analytica Pharmacognostica. So this Analytica Pharmacognostica was the PhD thesis of C.A. Siedler. And C.A. Siedler is considered as a, he has coined the term pharmacognosy. Remember, C.A. Siedler coined the term pharmacognosy. This was questioned in GPAD 2019. But before this C.A. Siedler, there was another physician known as J.A. Schmidt from Vienna. He wrote a, another thesis known as Leherbach der Materia Medica. Leherbach der Materia Medica. And he considered to be used pharmacognosy term before C.A. Siedler but C.A. Siedler got a credit so if anybody asks you question regarding this remember C.A. Siedler coined the term pharmacognosy now we will see now we will see the different countries and their traditional system of medicine so here I have listed the country traditional system of medicine associated scientist and theory behind the system the neighboring country China now in case of China you have Campo medicinal system Campo was the traditional medicinal system of China and this system is based upon the balancing between two forces yin and yang yin is known as the force of darkness and yang is the force of light so if there is an imbalance between these two forces you are suffering from disease that is the Campo medicinal system of China now for Greece you have Yunani traditional medicinal system and these Hippocrates, Aristotle and Galen all these three are related with the Yunani traditional system of medicine. Now in India you have oldest traditional medicinal system that is known as the Ayurveda based upon the Panchmahabhutas and Tridoshas. Now for Germany you have homeopathy and the scientist associated with this is Samuel Heinemann. So this was again a question in this kind of exam and again remember the theory behind this traditional system of medicine that is a Simili similibus curentur or like cures like. This was again a question in GPAD 2020. Now for the Tibet, Tibet has a Amachi traditional medicinal system. Now in the southern India, you have Siddha system of traditional medicine. And Sage Agastya is related with the Siddha system of medicine. And in this system, use of metal, heavy metals, for example, use of mercury, use of iron, use of uh, copper, etc., silver. Use of metal for treatment. That is the theory behind this. Now we will see another pinpoint from pharmacognosy known as the types of stomata. So stomata is nothing but the organ for respiration. So most of the plant leaves we have stomata in the upper epidermis or lower epidermis. So depending on that also uh, leaves are there. Two types of leaves are there. Isobilateral leaves and dorsiventral leaves. So depending upon the presence of stomata. If it is present on the both surface of the leaf then it is known as a isobilateral leaf and if it is present only on the lower surface of leaf it is known as a dorsiventral leaf so now you can see over here so stomata is nothing but the organ for respiration okay or plant used to breathe using this stomata now stomata there is an arrangement in the stomata there are different type of cells this is known as a stomatal opening then these Two cells are known as a guard cells. These two kidney shaped cells are known as a guard cell. And these other cells surrounding to the guard cell 
दे आर नोन एज सब्सिडरी सेल्स और इपिडर्मल सेल्स नाउ डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ गार्ड सेल्स सब्सिडरी सेल्स एंड स्टोमेटल ओपनिंग स्टोमेटा आर डिवाइडेड इंटू डिफरेंट टाइप्स देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ स्टोमेटा इन द प्लांट्स नाउ यू कैन सी हियर फर्स्ट वन इज नोन एज अ पैरासाइटिक स्टोमेटा इन केस ऑफ पैरासाइटिक स्टोमेटा द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ स्टोमेटल ओपनिंग एंड गार्ड सेल द गार्ड सेल एंड सब्सटरी सेल्स और गार्ड सेल और योर इपिटर्मल सेल्स दे आर पैरल टू इच अदर यू कैन सी दिस इज स्टोमेटल ओपनिंग इफ यू ड्रा ए वर्टिकल लाइन ओवर हेयर सो दिस गार्ड सेल्स एंड सब्सिडरी सेल्स दे आर पैरल टू इच अदर दैट्स वाई दे आर नोन एज अ पैरासाइटिक स्टोमेटा वन अदर टाइप इज नोन एज अ डायसाइटिक स्टोमेटा डायसाइटिक मीन्स इट इज नोन एज अ क्रॉस सेल्ड स्टोमेटा सो हियर द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ गार्ड सेल एंड सब्सिडरी सेल्स सो दैट विल बी परपेंडिकुलर दैट विल बी परपेंडिकुलर सो यू कैन सी ओवर हेयर गार्ड सेल्स दे आर वर्टिकल एंड सब्सिडरी सेल्स दे आर ऑरिजोंटल सो इफ परपेंडिकुलर अरेंजमेंट इज देयर दैट इज नोन एज डायसाइटिक टाइप ऑफ स्टोमेटा इफ पैरल अरेंजमेंट इज देयर दे आर नोन एज पैरासाइटिक स्टोमेटा ना अनदर टाइप ऑफ स्टोमेटा इज नोन एज अनिसोसाइटिक स्टोमेटा अनिसोसाइटिक स्टोमेटा ना इन दिस अनिसोसाइटिक स्टोमेटा गार्ड सेल्स आर सराउंडेड बाय थ्री सब्सटरी सेल्स ओके आउट ऑफ दैट वन इज अ लार्जर दैन अदर सो यू कैन सी दीज आर द गार्ड सेल्स सराउंडेड बाय थ्री सब्सटरी सेल्स आउट ऑफ दैट दिस वन इज अ लिटल विट लार्जर ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ स्टोमेटा इज अनमोसाइटिक स्टोमेटा अनमोसाइटिक स्टोमेटा अनमोसाइटिक स्टोमेटा सो गार्ड सेल्स आर सराउंडेड बाय वेरिंग नंबर ऑफ इपिडर्मल सेल्स गार्ड सेल्स आर सराउंडेड बाय वेरिंग नंबर ऑफ इपिडर्मल सेल्स दिस टाइप ऑफ अरेंजमेंट इफ इट इज सीन दैट देन इट इज अ अनमोसाइटिक स्टोमेटा एंड लास्ट टाइप ऑफ स्टोमेटा इज अ एक्टिनोसाइटिक स्टोमेटा एक्टिनोसाइटिक स्टोमेटा सो इफ स्टोमेटल गार्ड सेल्स गार्ड सेल्स आर सराउंडेड बाय गार्ड सेल्स आर सराउंडेड बाय सर्कुलर अरेंजमेंट ऑफ यूर इपिडर्मल सेल then it is known as a actinocytic or if guard cells are surrounded by radi radiating cells of your epidermal cell then it is known as a actinocytic stomata now we will see the in the details so i have listed over here you can see type of stomata and synonyms features examples so first type is a dicytic stomata dicytic stomata or it is also known as a caryophyllaceous stomata or they are also known as a cross celled stomata or labiate stomata because they are found in the labiate family most abundantly they are found in the labiate family so that's why they are known as a dicytic caryophyllaceous or cross cell or labiate celled stomata now in this type of stomata guard cells are surrounded surrounded by two substrate cells and the arrangement is perpendicular to the stomata now this type of stomata is found in the tulsi vasaka spermint peppermint and they are most abundantly found in the family known as a labiate that's why they are known as a labiate celled stomata now another type is known as anisocytic stomata so in this anisocytic stomata they are also known as a cruciferous stomata or unequal celled stomata or solanus solanus stomata because these these type of stomata they are found in the solanaceae family that's why they are known as a solanaceous stomata now in this type guard cell is surrounded by three substrate cells among guard cells are surrounded by three substrate cells and one one among the three cell it is a smaller than other or one cell is among guard cells is surrounded by three substrate cells and one cell is smaller than other such arrangement is known as a anisocytic stomata now it is found in the solanaceae family plant belonging to solanaceae family or compositive family example belladonna datura hyoscyamus stomonium and tobacco now third type of is known as anomocytic stomata anomocytic stomata or ranunculaceous stomata or irregular celled stomata now in this the gar the stoma is surrounded by varying number of guard cells resembling to epidermal cells examples digitalis plant consists of this type of stomata eucalyptus lobula then neem plant will consist of anomocytic stomata now next one is a parasitic stomata they are also known as a parallel cell stomata or rubaceous stomata here a guard cell is surrounded by two substrate cells and the axis of which is a parallel to 
the stoma means guard cells and epidermal cells they are arranged parallelly surrounding the stoma for example this type of stomata is present in the senna coca rubesius plant etc now actinocytic stomata actinocytic stomata they are also known as a radiate celled stomata so stoma is surrounded by a circle or radiating cells of epidermal cell so this kind of arrangement is present in the actino cytic or radiate cell stomata so this type of stomata is found in the ova portion now last type of is known as a sunken type of stomata or specialized type of stomata so it is a specialized type of stomata and it is for the prevention of excessive water loss of the plant which are present in the desert for example epidra so epidra plant used to grow in the desert so in desert to prevent the excessive loss of water so this specialized type of stomata is found this was again a question in gpet so epidra me epidra me kaun sa stomata hota hai iske liye kahin bhi question aa chuka hai so epidra agave and oleander these type of kinds of actinocyte uh, this type of kinds of sunken type of stomata so they have already asked the question on this anisocytic stomata actinocytic stomata and everything specially इन द नाइपर एग्जाम तो नाइपर एग्जाम में ये क्वेश्चन आता ही आता है जी पैट में भी ऑलरेडी पूछा है सो स्टूडेंट्स इफ लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट डिटेल लेक्चर्स यू कैन ज्वाइन आवर यू कैन ज्वाइन आवर जी पैट नाइपर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ऑनलाइन प्रोग्राम वी आर यू विल गेट लाइव लेक्चर्स रिकॉर्डेड लेक्चर्स स्टडी मटेरियल इन द हार्ड कॉपी टेस्ट थ्री जल्सो डाउनलोड आवर फंडामेंटल फार्मेसी ऐप फ्रॉम प्ले स्टोर और यू कैन कॉन्टैक्ट मी ऑन दिस नंबर we have a very promising result in gpat 2022 and nipper 2022 thank you very much for watching this video see you in the next video